We're going to news, introduce now a new concept beyond Coulomb's force law called the electric field. The field for an electric static charge is a somewhat imaginary term, but it will come to be, you will come to see that it actually has a real meaning. The electric field is defined as the force per unit charge. In other words, if there were two charges, capital Q and little q, then the electric field from capital Q is the force on little q divided by little q. Mathematically, this becomes k times q divided by r squared times the unit vector r. So you can define the electric field at various points r around a charge capital Q. If we were to sketch the electric field around the charge capital Q, it would point radially outward, assuming that the charge capital Q was positive. Conceptually, you can think of the electric field around capital Q as a hypothetical force that would exist if you were to place another charge, little q, nearby, and the charge, little q, was positive. It's a way of characterizing how strong is the potential electric force from capital Q. So in this sense, it's a somewhat fictional quantity. But as we'll see, the electric field comes to have very big significance. The electric field for a negative charge, capital Q, points in the opposite direction. And so instead of pointing away from capital Q, it, it comes in toward capital Q. And that's because in this expression for the electric field, the charge capital Q here would be a negative quantity. And so instead of pointing along the R direction, it would point in the negative R direction back toward capital Q. As you can see in this, these diagrams, the density of field lines changes depending upon where I am in space. Out in this region, the field lines are rather far apart. Close to the charge itself, the field lines get rather close together. And the density of field lines is related to or should intuitively give you an idea of how strong the force would be if I put a charge little q nearby capital Q. The direction of these lines or these arrows, of course, represents the direction of force that would be experienced if a positive charge, little q, were placed near this charge that's drawn in the picture. 